This week's video is how to transfer grades from Google Classroom to Skyward. Now there's the manual way of just typing them in, but there is a quicker way. Uh, it does involve a, a few steps, uh, but if you have a massive amount of grades in Google Classroom, uh, this is a really efficient way to do it. Uh, if you're just doing one assignment, you'll probably want to go on and just manually type it. If you're doing two assignments, uh, you might consider it. If you're doing three or more, I definitely use this method because you're going to end up saving time. So I've got my uh, grade book pulled up here, and I've already got uh, some two assignments right here that I have yet to grade. I have not put these grades into Skyward yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to the Assignments menu and I'm going to click on Advanced Export and Import Assignments. And then this right here lists the uh, assignments that I don't have graded in my gradebook yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check these two boxes and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click create file for score entry. Now I'm going to hit back. Then I'm going to switch to my next class period and I'm going to repeat that step. So here are the files that I just downloaded. And for this next step, uh, it kind of depends on what software you have on your computer. I do not have Microsoft Office on my computer, so I don't have Microsoft Excel. So even though these are spreadsheets, I can't open them. But what I do have is my Google Drive over here. So what I'm going to do is, if you haven't done this already, and I did a video about this a while back, if you go to Settings, and Settings again, uh, make sure that this box is checked and what it will do is it'll convert these Microsoft Office files to something I can make changes to in Google Drive. So I'm just going to drag and see this right here pops up. So it's now putting these files in my Google Drive and it's also automatically converting them so that I can make all the changes I need to make in uh, Google Drive. If you have Microsoft Excel on your computer, you can just open these files and do what we're about to do. The next step is we need to get the grades out of Google Classroom. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click on one of my assignments. It doesn't matter which one. Just click on it. And now you can see the grade screen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to this gear and I'm going to uh, select this one right here copy all grades to Google Sheets and this is going to open up a new window with a spreadsheet already filled out with all of my grades for this class for every single assignment so as I scroll over here we go here's my two assignments uh, for this week Okay, so if you've got Microsoft Excel, you're going to want to open up the uh, sheets that you downloaded. You know, these things here, open up them in Excel. I didn't, so uh, I'm going to open them up in Google Drive, and I'm just going to do these one at a time. So here's my first period. Double click on that and open it up. And I'm going to pull this tab over here, like so. And then here's my Google Sheets over here. And one thing you may want to do uh, is, in fact, it would be a good idea to do, is to just go down and make sure that all your kids are in here. Uh, they should be. Um, I think last year there was a problem with them not putting them in alphabetical order by last name. But evidently that's been fixed. I haven't had a single problem with it um, this year yet. Um, and basically all we got to do is this right here it says the name of the um, assignment please ignore the fact that I misspelled teenagers it's Friday uh, yeah 
So I'm going to select this column and I'm just going down and then I'm going to copy and then I'm going to paste them over here in the score column. And then over here you put a X in if you're not going to count them and then an X if they're missing. And then I'm going to come down here and do the next assignment. And copy, paste. Okay, and now this one here is done. Uh, if you're using, oops, if you're using Microsoft Excel, you can just go to uh, File and click Save. But uh, I am on um, Google Sheets, so I'm going to go to File, Download As, and I'm going to choose this one right here, Comma Separated Values, CSV, Comma Separated Values. Okay, I'm back in my gradebook, and I'm going to go back to Assignments and Advanced Export and Import. And I'm going to come down here, I'm going to hit uh, Choose File. And I'm going to find that file that either you just saved or you just downloaded, and this is it here. I'm going to click Open, Import Scores. And there we go, they're done. I hit Back, and Back again. And then you might just go down these two columns here and make sure that they all uh, wound up in there. And that's all you got to do.